Shit. This is bad. Hey, welcome back to some more Darkwood. Uh, so we're finally in the Silent Woods. It took us a while to get here. And it took a lot of depths too. Ration stamps. Hmm. Alright. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna try to make it through the story. It's another day, but... Yeah, we still haven't figured out how to survive at night. I'm pretty sure I need more bear traps. Yeah, let's turn off this generator. <clears throat> now, Wolfman wanted us to do something. But I'm not sure if we're prepared enough to do that. <clears throat> Alright. Big shed. We're gonna head south. Because I think that's where the old lady's house is. The uh, chicken lady. Locked. Okay. I'll uh, get a lockpick first. <laughs> Staying in that little room with the oven was not a good idea. I'm definitely gonna keep that in mind next time. Yeah, a bunch of shit just went down immediately. I got fucked. Alright. <clears throat> just collecting some more stuff. How are you doing today? You doing good? I am doing pretty well myself. I'm enjoying a nice, non-alcoholic mojito. This is Piotrek's house. Is he a nice guy? Doesn't sound like it. Just judging from the music. Rope. Nails. Okay. He's barricaded this really well. Can't jump over it. Can I? Pile of chunk sloppily welded together. Uh, this was once a tractor. Now it's a hollow, rusty body. All of its useful mechanical parts have been scavenged. Shit. Dogs. Heavy smell of gasoline in the air. What is that? I'm not touching that. Who's Piotrek? <clears throat> Got gasoline, alcohol, and matchsticks. Maybe I can throw something away. Alright, so the enemies in this forest are really, really... Uh, what's the word? Ruthless. I really don't want <clears throat> to meet any of them. Shit. 
Why is that thing so hostile? I'm avoiding that corpse. Cottage. Some gasoline. Fuck, what is that? Uh, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I don't think I can get through there. Unless there's a window. Otherwise, yeah, I'm going in there. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Hmm. I guess that's just closed off for now. Alright, let's keep going. Very spooky sounds. I don't want to step in those mushrooms. Oh. It's over here. Uh, this is like a new area. Ooh. Alright, there's really corpses everywhere. And animals. Just gotta run. Okay, my flashlight's out of batteries. Where are we? Doesn't say. We may have strayed too far. Oh wait. Some more logs. Oh. We just went back. That's weird. Pew track. Okay, so we didn't find what we were looking for. I think we should go back. Where's the old lady's house? Uh, I think I'm lost. Road to the village. Unless this is it. What the fuck is that? Got it big. Dot dot dot. Yeah. That's great. Okay, yeah, I've made it to the village, I think. It's like a little shrine here. Then a field. Okay. I can't look at my map. Damn. Let's go across this bridge. God, this is creepy. She's watch, uh, washing her clothes. Our woods are so beautiful this time of year. I guess so. I'm staying away from the pig. Or should I? It's like pigs everywhere. Where's my meat? I should get two kilos of meat for this month. Antec won't save you this time. Antec. What? Uh -oh. 
Okay. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Can't touch that. I'm creeped out. What is this place? A note. What a joyous day. We shall meet again today. I hope she'll enjoy what I prepared for her. <clears throat> she hasn't had an appetite lately, but it's okay. We have... Uh, we have our ways around that, don't we? She must eat rich meals. Uh, I've dug out something delicious for her today. My queen. Only I can be close to her. No one else. No one. No one else will get close to you anymore. You need to get eat everything. Okay. It looks like there's a piece missing here. 75 something something. Yikes. He ever tries to come back. Who? Oh, fucking quack doctor. Burned doctor's bag. Interesting. Why would that be in there? There's just a lady here. With a pig. <laughs> this is terrible. Uh, he's been hiding in his cottage for the last couple of days. They'll end up like the others. What happened to them? Their villager, the villagers turned their heads away from me. I don't think I'm welcome here. Uh, we are kind of deformed. Just a little. You know? In. Okay, nothing in here. Okay, they don't want to talk to me. Oh well. They're lost. Hmm. Wolfman said there's an old lady's house somewhere, but I, I don't... I don't exactly know where it is. Oh, wait. Are these chickens? There's chickens here. Uh, the wooden floor is sticky with chicken feces and feathers. Gross. Oh. Hello, chicken lady. The old lady squints at me, her eyes full of suspicion. She hugs her chickens possessively. <clears throat> Better keep them hands off of me hens, you bloody scoundrel. The old lady puts one of the hens to her ear, mumbling under her breath. After a moment, she calms down. I've seen me share things, lived through many a war, but nothing like this. Lord be my witness, this accursed land ain't a place for men, ain't a place for hens. All right, gossip. Poor Aneska has lost her mind. Her fellow knocked her up with this ab abomination. Even the mongrels tucked their tails and yelped when they saw it. I tell you, poor, poor soul. They burned her fellow with the shack and took the horror somewhere. Everyone got the jitters, little wonder. <clears throat> the old lady smiles kindly. Bearing her three yellow teeth. Hmm. It was a long time ago, but you remember it still, my little hen, don't ya? Ah, uh, the chick. Hell's bells. Where'd you get it? Where'd you find it? 
The old lady seems disturbed. The hands fell silent. I can feel the tension in the air. Holy mother, it's Janik's little hen. A gift from me. My little brother. A couple days ago, he got mad. I told him, stay. You're not one of the brainy fellows. You know nothing. But he wouldn't listen, and off he went to that other fella. Hmm. Here, take this. He went to see this fella. See him? He never came back. The lady shoves a crumpled photo in my hand. Huh. Okay. The doctor. Oh my god. The woman trembles violently. The hen on her shoulder struggles to maintain balance. <clears throat> You're all I have, my little sisters. I have the photo of the road. Oh, I remember this place. I do. It's been six years since I've been there last. This road used to lead to the other village. Yeah, it could take you take it to get to the city. Not that far away from here. You won't get there now. These devilish trees have overgrown everything. Alright. Anything else? Uh, thank the Lord for our sal. Poor thing seems sickly. Uh huh. There's more life. We think so. We get. Alright. <clears throat> Holy mother, this creep again. May the devil take him and his blasted violin. The old lady turns red and starts to scream. Devil fucked your mother. Get away from the house. Who is that? Uh, maybe I could get rid of him for you. Hmm? I'm sorry it won't happen again. Fuck off. It's not my fault. I know it does just sound too great. My violin, it's, it's a bit broken. I, I won't play it anymore, sorry. Um, sir, have you been in that hut? The chicken lady hut? You're not afraid of her? You're brave. And have you seen her? The pretty lady? She, she's the most beautiful lady in the world. I watch her through the cracks of the window. She, she changes when I watch her. It's more beautiful. I play for her. You fucking creep. I want her to be happy, but she doesn't seem to be. The chicken ladies locked her in that room. She, she keeps her there. She envies her. She won't allow anyone to see her. Even me. She knows very well that during the last uh, cupula night, I fished the pretty lady's wreath from the river. Uh, yes, sir. The chicken lady knows what it means. Oh yes, I will become the pretty lady's husband. We will walk hand in hand, sir. I will play for her, mister, sir. I tried to release her, but the chicken lady, she ch chased me off. Sh she always does. I, I, I look for the second key of Mr. Jans, but now he's disappeared. I don't know how to get into his house. Okay, that's a hint. Mr. Jan's house. All right, nod. So kind, so very kind. You're just like him, my the daddy. But my papa has changed, mister. Just like my mommy. They'll not listen to me. They won't, won't hear how sad I am, sir. Well, oh, but I'm not b boring you, sir. P please don't go, p please. Hear me out, d don't go. Nervous grunting can be heard from underneath the tractor. Uh, p perhaps you can help me. Sure, why not? Uh, please, please find the key, good sir, to the pretty lady's room. The, the chicken lady has it. Well, Mr. Jan also has it. I saw him re recently near the well. He used to play with me. We threw rocks into the well, and I looked into her reflections while making silly faces. Uh, Daddy says, uh, Daddy used to say not to do it, else my face will stay that way. Now the water in the well is always hazy. It shows these weird images. Hmm. The well is here, in the village. 
maybe you'll find him there. He used to hang out, uh, hang around enough. He stared into the well as if looking for something or someone. I must hide now. Hide from the chicken lady. I'll go to that place where they used to keep all the grain. The southwestern part of the silent forest. The silo. <clears throat> w will you bring me the key if you find it? I promise to repay you somehow. M me and the pretty lady. Alright. Show item. Photo of the doctor. Uh, this is our doctor, yes. He is just as brave and good as you are. He helped me. He is helping all of us. Okay, you're not scared anymore. He gave us this beautiful mask, so I could be healed of my afflictions. Maybe you could have one too. Uh, Mommy once told me about this road. She said p people used to travel it. They would leave their houses and walk it during no the night. I was scared of this story. I was afraid Mommy would go out too and leave me behind. Man, you're weird. Uh, gossip? Have you heard about the sow? The villagers keep the sow in the nearby pig shed. They call it the mother of all pigs. They say it's beautiful, but, but I haven't seen it. They don't allow me near her. They ch chase me off. They always chase me off. The little musician drops his gaze. Maybe you'll be able to see her, mister. If you manage to get inside, maybe you could take a, piece, a wee piece of meat for me? I've never eaten a pig. I've heard it's very tasty. But would you take some for me? That does not sound appetizing at all. Okay. That's all we need from you. What is that? Is there someone in here? Hello? Gasoline. Alright. Hmm. He said it needs to be done. Wait. Wolfman said... Huh. Wait, hold on. Journal. Woof. Uh huh. Okay, the wolf has asked me to bring him to the key of the locked room in the house of the hag that reeks of chickens. In exchange for this favor, he will help me achieve my key. Okay. So I guess I'm not going to give it to the, uh, Musician guy. But he did help me. So thanks for that, I guess. But I'll take your key. You little creep. The woman stares at the ground with a dead look. Plastic doll. I'll leave that for now. Kill the pig. Why? Okay. There's water here. <clears throat> oh, we're back at the bridge. Great. Now, where's this well they talked about? Destroyed well. Uh, let's look at our journal again. Strange boy. The boy really wants to see her. Uh huh. Key to the chicken lady's locked room. Inside the village. Inside the village well. Okay. So, where is the village well? And there's apparently a giant pig. That everyone is eating. I hear you. I 
see between the trees. Who are you? Someone in there? Alright, where is this well? It's quite a wide tunnel. There are finger marks on the ground. It must have been dug out using bare hands. I wonder where it leads. Enter. Oh shit, here's our house. Okay, nice. Uh, now we have a little shortcut. Very nice. Is this the well? Yeah. Uh, an old destroyed well. If I find a long sturdy rope or chain, I should be able to descend it. I think I have a rope. No, but I know where to find it. Okay, it must be over here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, can I replace... Here. I uh, replace... Um... This bottle of alcohol. I don't think I need it. For now. We can always uh, go back and get it. This dude is crazy. Sorry, I don't mean to use that in an offensive way. Uh. Okay, let's use the rope. Wait, what do I need? Like some kind of rope. Hmm. Okay, we need a sturdier rope, I guess. <clears throat> Locked. Alright. Uh, let's go back into that hole in the ground. If I can find it. sturdier rope. So hopefully I can craft it. Hmm, I don't think so. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> Let's search around town some more. It doesn't seem to be getting darker. But uh, maybe we can uh, ask the trader if he has some rope. Hopefully. I can't can't get in this house. the village. Well, uh, a lot less spooky stuff and a lot less things chasing and killing me. Ooh, mushrooms. Nice. What's over here?
Ooh, more mushrooms. All right, we'll head back to the silent forest for now. Hmm. Maybe I can head to Wolfman's camp. See if he has any rope that we can use. Because right now I'm kind of at a loss. Shit. Uh oh. Uh, I'm staying away from that. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not do that. I think for now we're gonna cook our mushrooms. There we go. Uh, let's see. Moth? And mushroom healing. Hmm. I like moth. There we go. Ground entrance? What? Come. Who are you? There's shiny stones everywhere. This seems like a trap. Armored door. Uh, press your ear against the keyhole. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. This is definitely like a trap. Uh, look through the keyhole. Fuck. Come. Come to me. What? Come here. This is bad. God, this is bad. This is bad. This is so bad. Uh, what am I doing? What is this? Holy shit. That is awesome. That was weird. That was really weird. Um, yeah. I think I'll leave the episode there for now. <laughs> Next episode, we'll search for the rope to get down the well, and then find the key to the pretty lady's uh, room. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> uh, 
I'll see you next time. Bye.